Welcome. Today's lesson is on disorders and diseases as well as insect ID and the CDE agronomy. All right, now you've got a few of the contests under your belt. Now what do you do? Because as we get closer and closer to the state finals, one of the things you're going to have to contend with is how do you fill out, for instance, disorder, disorders and diseases as well as the insect ID score sheets. So let me take you uh, on a quick little tour of it. Um, here's one of the scorecards uh, you, you may encounter. Another one would be the bubble in type, which is the Scantron. But I want to show you on this one because it's a little bit clearer, and I think you'll get the idea once you see this. At each contest, you should be able to identify uh, five of the 17 insects that are in the curricular code. You'll also need to know four things about them. The first one happens to be, of course, the identification of that insect. The insects you'll need to know are right here on the score sheet. Also, you need to know their economic impact. Are they, are they predatory or do they have vegetative uh, or, or destruction or uh, fruit and flower? Whatever it might be, make sure you know what kind of destruction or impact it has on the plants. Third of all, you need to know its life cycle. Complete, incomplete, or none of them. Make sure you know the difference. And then, of course, all the different mouth parts. So let me demonstrate for you what one will look like, how you can fill it out. Let's say you have this insect. We all know that know it as, yes, that's right, green lace wing. So the first thing you're going to do is find it on your uh, scorecard, the possible answer section on the right-hand side. You see great, uh, green lace wing, and that would be number 17. So you mark 17 on your card. Then the next one is going to be economic impact. If you've done your homework, you know it's predatory. So it's number one on the economic impact scale. So you're going to put one. Then we have some letters down there that indicate life cycle. And its life cycle is complete. It has all four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. And each one is very different than the next. So you put the letter C. Now to complete the package, you have to do the last one, which is mouth parts. And this guy, he's got some killer mandibles. He rips, he tears, he chops them up in little pieces. And that would be number one. So there you have that uh, portion of it. Let's do one more. Oh, before we go, though, notice how e there's four different things you have to list. Each one a little bit different value. For instance, the ID of the 10 possible points of the 50... Uh, you need to uh, identify it, it'll be with four points. And all the rest of them are worth two. Each insect is worth ten points. And of course there's five on there. That means there's a total of 50 points. So you have number one worth ten points all the way down to, to five. So let's look at another one very quickly. And this one, you should be e it should be relatively easy to, to recognize. And, yep, that's right. It's a corn earworm larva, and that happens to be number 16 on the old times uh, hit chart. And the, you would put number 16 in number 2, ID number, and I think you put six, uh, 16. The other thing is it's fruit and flower destruction. It basically eats the fruit, which are, of course, the kernels, but it also has to uh, eat also sometimes uh, through the husk and some, sometimes some of the leaves. So actually, this one could have two possible ones. Now, notice, if you will, there's only a space for one. Just put one of the two, you should get credit for it. So that's what you have to keep in mind. If there are two answers, give one of the two. It's, it doesn't ask you for two, just one of the two. So this is number two uh, for fruit and flower uh, destruction. The next one is going to be the life cycle. Life cycle is also complete. So we put the letter C. And then the last thing is it has chewing mouth parts. Again, mandibles. Uh, not quite as heavy duty as a green lace wing, but it's good enough to be able to cut through plant tissue as well as fruit as well. So that would be number one. So that's how you would do the insect identification. Remember, each one is worth 10 points. Each line is either with four or two. And then what you're going to have is five of them, as I said before, 10 for each one, 50 total points. So let's go on to the d disorders as well as the diseases. For this one, we have this. Now, I have to give you a little bit of background because just the picture by itself doesn't really uh, do it very much justice. On, for instance, when I picked this one up, 
On the right hand side was a levee and it was definitely sprayed with some kind of herbicide. All the plants were kind of dying, they were wilting. And then I looked on the crop side of things, the first about five to six feet covered with all of these alfalfa plants with what seemed to be holes. But those are the droplets uh, of actually something else. And then as you walked in the field, there was less and less uh, affected plants. And these little drops uh, not only affected the leaves, but also the stems and everything, every other part of the plant. And anything it um, touched, it obviously affect that plant. You probably know what that is. And uh, if you take a look, we first of all need the cause, uh, causal a agent or, or category. What caused this thing? And if you know what it is, um, you, you can get this, um, um, this category fairly easily. This particular one happened to be an herbicide overspray. So it would be cultural. So we would put the letter C. Now remember, these are also worth 10 points, but there's only three things that you need to be able to fill out. So they have a little bit different point value. So please check on that on the, the card, three or four. And then as I said before, it was a chemical that did it. So we put 11 for chemical. And the part that was damaged, well, you can't tell really much on this picture, but it was more than just the leaf. It was uh, more than one area that was impacted. So you put the letter five. So now what you have um, is, if you got them all right, you get 10. Again, worth 50 one more time. So let's do one more before we uh, look at the next slide. You're probably familiar with this vegetable, that being, of course, uh, dent corn. But you're probably not familiar with this particular um, uh, disease. Well, I guess it's, you could call it a disease. Um, but the thing that caused this if you take a look really, really carefully, you can see the little kind of fruiting bodies on each of the kernels. And if you look really, really close to a couple of them, you'll notice that there's kind of like uh, threads on them, and that's a mycelium. And if you can see that, then you know what it is. It's fungus. And this one's the number one um, problem in, in corn, and this is fusarium kernel rot. So if it's fusarium and it's a fungus, what is it going to be, cultural, biological, or um, envir uh, environmental? So this one is going to be, that's right, biological. It's a living thing that's causing the problem. As I said before, you put, you put the letter B, and then, of course, it's chemical in, it, in its nature. So what plant part does it actually affect? Well, in all intents and purposes, I know they're kernels, and I know they're seeds, but also they would be considered uh, fruit or flowers. So uh, what you're going to do is put the letter or the number two on it as well. So there you have it. You basically will have to fill out a multiple uh, of things, each one worth a certain amount of points. Um, try to, I, if I were you, I'd try to guess. At least try to get some points. Don't leave anything blank would be my suggestion to you. And uh, we'll be seeing the next contest. Oh, that, that kind of reminds me. I, I just want to congratulate to Gregoria of Modesto who won our last competition. Well done, guys. And also, there was a young man uh, in uh, our uh, in my presentation I uh, gave. And his name is Braden. Brayden, just keep up your enthusiasm and don't give up. I, I think you're going to be a great agronomist one day. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. I'll see you at the next contest. Bye.